Yeah, what up everybody? It's your boy Jamarley Trail. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys my finished product. I just finished another Mod PS3 and I'm going to show you guys what's on it. I'm using about 3 TB worth of uh, USB hard drive. So let's get started. So right now you're going to see Webman Games, uh, my PSP launcher. It launches PSP Games Perfect, of course, because it's a PlayStation 3. Um, I have my PSP Remastered, just to make the PSP games look a little bit better. I have RetroArch, which has, it's a basically a multi-emulator that plays multiple emulators in one. So you don't have to search for a Super Nintendo emulator, Sega Genesis. It's all in one. Main arcade, you have everything. So right here, you got Multiman, and this is what I use to play my PS3, PS2. You can play your PSP and PlayStation 1 games in here. So let me show you guys what I have on my Multiman right now. Now, depending on how your modded PS3 is, like right now, you could use any app to play the PS3 games. I'm using Multiman, but I'm pretty sure it's probably like three or four other apps out there that you could use. But um, I'm going to press R1 so I can show you guys a better view. Okay, there you go. So it says I have 372 PS3 games on my hard drive. And I would have to say about 12 of those games are duplicates. I didn't have time to uh, delete them, but to delete them, all you do is press square, go to delete. It takes about five seconds and the game is gone. So like I said, it's about 350 PS3 games total. So if you guys are missing anything just press pause on the video if I if I'm going too fast just press pause now I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want to download your own games but I will warn you every internet company is starting to put fucking data caps on your internet service now they're getting fucking greedy as fuck basically your internet service at home is turn it to the damn phone company in that service. So if you go over a certain limit, they will start charging you. And by downloading these PS3 games, trust me, you're gonna run out of memory real fast, or out of gigabytes, depending on what your plan is. And I got Cox Cable, so they're greedy as fuck. They just start doing this shit, so. But if you don't wanna download this and you want fully loaded hard drives, I'm gonna leave a link in the description also, and you'll get what you see here. Like I said, you might see 12 duplicates that I have time to, t uh, to delete yet, so. And once you click on a game, if you're familiar with this, it's gonna take you back to the main menu of the PS3, and it's gonna look like you got a game inside the PS3. It's gonna pop up as a disc. It's gonna say you're playing Tony Hawk. Click on that disc, and the game is gonna start playing like you're playing a regular PS3 game. And I do, don't do my menus or any of that stuff yet. So I'm going to say yet because I'm probably end up doing it in the future. So I'm just going back up. So just in case you guys forgot anything, you missed anything. And that's about it. So, but on my personal PS3... I have PlayStation 2 games also, so this is on my internal hard drive. Now, if you want PS2 games, if you do purchase uh, the hard drives, it might cost a little bit more, and you're going to have to upgrade your hard drive, your internal hard drive, to at least a 1 TB or a 1.5 TB, just because you cannot play the PS2 games directly from your USB hard drive. The games are going to be on there, but you're not going to play it from your hard drive. Once you click a game, like say that you, you have this game on your USB hard drive right now, you press X on it, what it's going to do is it's going to install like you downloaded the game from PlayStation Network. So it's going to install to your internal 
hard drive. So make sure you upgrade your hard drive to at least 1.5 TB or 1 TB. And that's only if you want PS2 games, so. Oh yeah, let me show you guys the PS2 games. My voice is going out, so bear with me. I just picked some imports, you know, Call of Duty, uh, Bleach, Def Jam, Devil May Cry, I got Bloody Roar, of course Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaichi, all of them, I love them. Infinite World, Super Dragon Ball Z, I like that one also. Fell Frame, God of War, and just a bunch of random PS2 games, Kingdom Hearts and stuff. Okay, let me back up out of here and I'm going to show you guys the retro games. And another thing that I have on here, if you guys upgrade to a 4TV, depending on what you purchase, if you purchase the 4TV, you will get the PS2 games and you will get a bunch of anime like Bleach, uh, Dragon Ball Z, depending on what you're into, you know, and a bunch of workout programs. It's, it comes with it, basically, so. I'm going to go right here to RetroArch. Let me show you guys what's in RetroArch. Now, I tested about 90% of the emulators out, and so far, all of them play perfect. I haven't got into all of them, so. I'm going to go right here to Core. This is how you load your system up. And you see you have MAME, Stella, basically Atari 2600, Cave Story, PR, Boom, I guess Doom, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis. And I think the only ones I think I didn't test out was either it's Quake or Wonder Swan. It's, I know it's about two or three of them that I didn't uh I didn't uh, test out yet, so. But the other stuff all works perfect. Like, if I want to play main, now I just gotta find the games for main. USB 6, go to my ROMs folder. See where it's main. There go main right there. And let's pick a game. Some guy asked me if I had Galaga 3, I don't have. No idea. So I'm just gonna pick one of these right here. Press X. And there you go. Now to start main games, if you're familiar with it, you gotta press left, right real fast. Super weird. But Nintendo, Super Nintendo, the games come directly on. So you don't have to worry about all that. Press select to put your coin in. Press start. Looks beautiful on the PlayStation 3. Now, let's say I want to play something else. Press both analogs in. And I'm going to go to Quit Retro Arc. Now, if you guys don't have a jailbroken PS3, and you want one, just I'm gonna check out the link in the description at the bottom. This guy on eBay, he mod and jailbreak um, PlayStation 3s. He's gonna let you know what model he does, and he, he's gonna have you send him pictures of your PS3 just so you won't send the wrong PlayStation 3 and you get all happy and he sent it right back and you just wasted 15 bucks. So I'm gonna leave a link down there, and all you have to do is purchase you a fully loaded hard drive. I'm gonna leave that link in the description also. And if you want to download your own uh, PS3 games and everything else, I will try to leave as much details in the description as possible. So, But I'm going to warn you that most internet companies are starting to put data caps on their services now. You might not even know it. I just found out about a week ago, and it's been going on since February. And if you go over your limit, they start charging you a $10 fee, some greedy-ass cost communication internet bullshit so just to warn you guys so now I'm gonna go back to multi-man I'm gonna show you guys the last thing and that's the movies if you guys are interested in that stuff it comes with the 4TV package
Okay, so now we're back at Multiman, and depending on what movie program you're using, you could watch movies from your PS3. I'm using Showtime Media Center. So I'm gonna go to Showtime Media Center, hit X. Now, it's one of these USB hard drives, and I think it's number six. No, it's not. So I'm gonna go to number seven, and I'm gonna go to the movies, and this is everything I have on here so far. Inuyasha, a random movie folder with a bunch of movies inside, like Bruce Lee, Chinatown Kid, Dracula, just a bunch of stuff, Jet Li, I'm into that Kung Fu, Karate type, horror movies, you know. So I'm gonna get out of there, Naruto Shippuden, here go the season, season one to 12. You got P90X, Insanity, so you know, you can game and get your workout on. You got the Boondocks, Transformers 1 through 4, Ninja Turtles 1 through 5. Just a bunch of good stuff. Dragon Ball Z, Remastered. So you got the remastered versions. You have every season and every movie pack for Dragon Ball Z. I mean, Blood, not the Dragon Ball Z kind, but the real shit. So I'm, I'm going to go right here to season 6, hit X. And I'm going to watch this one right here. Look at that. <laughs> Now with the Nintendo Wii, you might have some reason with the Nintendo Wii, but with the PS3, everything plays perfect. Hello, Master Roshi. Oh, hello, Gohan. You've gotten so big. <sighs> this is the good Dragon Ball Z, not Martin that Rachel, super bullshit. Us today, Everybody guys and shit. He ran off and left us in the but anyways, this your boy Jamali Trail. If you guys got any questions. Make sure you leave a comment below. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, do whatever. It's your boy Jamali Chell and I'm out.